time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button and you know where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. Last night, I got to check out a screener of The White Tiger. It's The White Tiger. It's out in theaters, but it's coming to Netflix soon. And it star- I, I, was, I was drawn to the movie because it stars my girl Priyanka Chopra. You know I love me some Priyanka. But let me look at the other cast because it's also... I'm bad at these names. You know this. Our dish, Gorvov, and he's like the main actor. I haven't seen him in much things. Like, I don't recognize him. But I did look at his profile is imdb and it said he was on the movie mom which you know i love that movie one at short dv that i watched a while ago and and it must have been like a year ago and i don't remember he might have been one of the bad guys i don't remember him in that so let's talk about what the movie's about because it's about the main character balram 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 i think that's how you say his name balram and he was born like in a lo- poor little village and you know he was smart and all and went to school but then his dad couldn't pay the fees so he had to like get out of school and and he was wanting to make a better life for himself just living in this village so he you know got his way into being a driver for like one of the wealthiest families the movie really brings to light the caste system because you know he's from this poor village and becomes a driver but he becomes like almost a servant to the people that he drives for like on the one part, he's massaging and doing the people's feet and rubbing them like the older dad guy. And then the sons and all of them, he calls them their, their, their master. And he's like a servant to him and working for him. And I know the caste system is no longer a thing. But it made me wonder, like, is this, I know it's no longer, you know, officially a caste system and people are in it. But is it still something that's you know, kind of practice. They still feel like they're in like the lower class and you can't really go up to the higher class and you kind of stay there. And even the people in the lower class, like some people were looking at him in this movie and they were like looking at him like he's dirty and stink and garbage and because he's from a lower class and like almost not a human being. You know, they treat him almost like a slave. Like, a, I mean, well, he does call himself a servant. In the movie, my girl Chopra, she plays a character called Pinky, which I was like, oh, the Pinky. <laughs> and she was actually from, but she was raised like in America, which, I mean, I'm going to tell you, number one, whenever I see her speaking, like talk, speaking English and stuff, she has just the American accent down. You know, if they need an uh, Indian actress who can you know, speak English and want the English accent, she's got it down. Probably because she's, you know, I, I think that people said she went to school here and grew up and she's married to that goofy little Nick Jonas. Oh, so I'm going to say all the characters were phenomenal. Baram, but she's playing, you know, she was raised in America. So she comes in and she's seeing how Baram's, Baram, Baram's treated in these lower class and you know, here in America, I mean, we look at people are poor, but they're not like, if someone's poor, they're not like a lower class than you. You know, you, you feel sorry for me when I help them, but they're not like any lower that, you know, in class that you are. You know what I mean? So she comes into this, like, you're still a person, you're still the human and equal to me. So why are you letting people treat you like that? And like, she's like, don't call me sir. You know, I don't want to be your master and all this stuff. Well, she's married to the rich guy. She's married to the rich guy. It was almost like they all became friends, the three. You know, they were always, they were joking and, and teaching each other things and they and all and they all become friends. But then one night, I guess they had some alcohol and they wanted to drive and Pinky's driving and something happens. Oh, she's driving and it's like two in the a.m. in the morning, driving fast, had, you know, drinking and all. I guess she, you know, had too much alcohol. And then like a little kid came out in the street and she totally hits him. Oh, that part had my stomach sink into the ground. Oh, that was so hard to watch. That was so hard to watch. You just saw something come out in the street. You know they hit it. And then they got out and saw, you know, the kid on the ground. You, you don't know anything behind it. But you, your heart just sinks because, I mean, it was such a, 
a, a hard moment to watch. I mean, it was uncomfortable. It was hard to watch. Things spiraled out from there. You know, they covered it up and, and Baram helped them and, and, you know, Pinky never got, she wanted to call the police and was crying, uh, you know, do all this stuff and they didn't want to and, and she never was right from it after that. She had to like leave and, and then her husband blamed, you know, him for, for letting her leave. The wealthy family wanted to, Baram to sign this thing to saying he's the one to hit when he knows he wasn't. And they know how he is. They know he like he looks at himself as a servant only to serve his master and serving his master makes him happy. But that was the point that really turned things around for him. And you can feel it, you know, feel your heartache and you're just like, Don't do it, don't do it, you know, you're like you're like screaming at the at the screen just not to do it and and I mean, what is he gonna do? He's he's like his job this is his dream job. You know, what is he left with after this? And and these are the masters you serve, but but also in it you can just feel the anger built up from him and the contempt that he has for these people now. At one point he was like the servant to them, right? He wanted to just please them, but now it's like contempt for them. And that our dish does it so well. He was so great, phenomenal on the screen. I can feel every emotion that he felt. That's what I said from the from just the happiness and, and glee that when he was becoming friends with them and serving them and all, to just the utter heartbreak when they did that to him, just and then to just the anger belt. I don't want to give all the spoilers away, but the ending was even more shocking, you know? And things could be more shocking, just things after. It, I, one thing about this movie, it wasn't predictable to me. I didn't know what was coming. I mean, even for the, the kid that was hit on the street, I I gasped. I was like, oh! that was how much I was just into this and 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 felt every emotion and and was surprised at, at the twists and turns it takes. Now, it wasn't a perfect film. I felt like parts were slower. You know, I felt like they could have skipped out in some parts and some things happened that I was like, all right, this is dragging a little bit. And then by the time it did get to the end, I felt like it escalated like 20 to 100 times faster than it should. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, tell me a little more, you know? I want to know a little bit more of the ending. So it felt like the whole movie kind of slow pace and then zoom right at the end. Where I was like, I, I feel a little, I feel like a little ripped off from that. I guess that was the point of the movie. I mean, it didn't really want to focus on what happens to him after, but mostly what got him to that point, right? I mean, and that was the heartfelt part of the movie and the powerful point. And it really brought light to that kind of caste system, which that's what I'm saying. I thought it was something that's not even practical. I definitely think it's something to check out. I enjoyed it a lot. Unlike my Bollywood films, which do run three hours, I felt like this could have gone longer if they told me more than the end. It didn't have my little Bollywood sequence dance numbers and song numbers I got like. So it wasn't really felt like the Bollywood. It felt like Hollywood trying to just tell the story. It is actually based off a great bestseller book. I think it's only, a, the book was only a few years old. So it's an adaptation from the book. And now it makes me want to read the book because you all, you know, they always say the book is bad. If you have seen it or want to see it or have any other comments, let me know what you think comments and thumbs and all that down below and until next time y'all